Welcome, Katie. Thank you so much because you're so busy with your at least five at least five Instagram live streams you're doing every day, plus your YouTube, plus, 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 and running your business, and looking after your kids, and your old man, and... I know. I'm really <laughs> thrilled you're here. Always time to talk to you, Lynn, always. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. So, um, as I was saying, we were in the, we're just coming to the last day tomorrow of a, um, the first Seed online retreat using Zoom, and as you know, as I've told you, normally at the Seed Hub, once a month, we do a women's gathering where I am in conversation with an extraordinary woman. So this is our first women's gathering online. You are the extraordinary woman that I'm invited tonight. So I'm really happy. We have done this before in London at the hospital club. Um, and of course we're good friends. So um, we, we kind of have an easy uh, communication. So let's see where it goes. We do um, this anyway, let's face it. <laughs> so again thank you and I'm not sure if there are people still coming in or if pretty much everybody's here so I wanted to talk to you about several things obviously I want to talk to you about traditional Chinese medicine you are you are a practitioner and um, you've covered an awful lot of ground which we'll talk about in more depth which took you to the place of finding out about Yang Sheng which this is Katie's book if anybody of you haven't seen it or read it it's absolutely brilliant and Yang Sheng is the art of Chinese self-healing today in our retreat we've been talking about self-help self-healing and well-being and this is exactly what you're talking about as well and um, I've also got my taffa which we're going to explain in a minute I love my taffa and I've got various of Katie's products which I use every day and the reason I don't look about 25 is because I know I'm not using them properly and I know that she's going to be teaching me not necessarily tonight to use them better because I but I'm looking better than I would if I didn't use them just not as good as I could look if I was using them properly I don't know I think you're looking great oh well, thank you thank you thank you thank you anyway so I want to start off because how your career started was very different from what you're doing now and I understand you were studying to be an opera singer do you want to tell a bit of your story? And you were studying yeah, your... um, well, I think my story is I went from patient to practitioner, I guess, because um, always when I was sort of, when I was at school, I was at one of those very sort of high intensity schools and you kind of had to have a thing that was yours. And I had learning difficulties, so I was quite heavily dyslexic. Um, I just want to interrupt you at this point and say to you that we were talking about dyslexia today on the retreat and about half the people, it is incredible how many people are dyslexic. I'm sorry, I just had to say that. No, you're right. And the thing is, is that in our day, it was never diagnosed. So you, I just thought I was stupid. You know, that was the problem. And that, that's quite damaging when you're a child, because at the time you don't realise that that's actually not the case. No. Um, but singing was my thing. Um, and so therefore that was always going to be my thing because it kind of was. And um, I was on my way to music college um, and in the summer before I was about to start, I just had this awful car accident, which just kind of whipped, I got very, very bad whiplash from this car accident. And you can still hear to this day, you know, my voice is still husky. Um, it's become quite an attractive oh, sexy. Well, apparently so, apparently it's now quite an attractive characteristic, but at the time <laughs> it wasn't great. And it totally stopped my singing, my singing sort of possibilities and my ambition. Um, and I really didn't know what to do. I had a total life crisis because kind of everything up until that moment had been about me going off to do that. And I had like kind of nothing left. So I was then in a lot of pain. Um, and it was then, it took eight years from that moment. And I went into the journey that so many people I find now as my patients are in, which is I'm, I didn't have a purpose. I was doing a job, I was getting paid. I wasn't really that happy. I was kind of on a rabbit wheel of sort of what I was doing and nothing sort of spoke to my soul. And I think, that was obviously a big problem for me um, until suddenly when I was about 28 years old, I was of all places walking down the Edgware High Street um, with my mother and I was in so much pain. I had not, nothing had worked. Um, like so many people say, I've tried everything and nothing worked. I tried everything and nothing had sorted this problem out. Um, and so there was a sort of TCM clinic on the high street where it was like, you know, 10, 10 minutes of massage for 10 pounds kind of thing. Traditional Chinese medicine, just to say, I'm sure everybody knows TCM, but just to clarify. Yes, Chinese medicine. And I was in so much pain. I thought, do you know what? I, I just need someone to do something to my neck. It was so painful. So I kind of went in and it was one of those amazing moments. The, um, the Chinese doctor was there, happened to be absolutely brilliant. And he did Hua Sha, which is this technique that we're going to be talking about. And literally, he got rid of the pain there and then. And I was just crying with kind of gratitude and frustration and sort of every emotion that had been like ripped up of me. And that was my kind of watershed. I thought, right, that's it. 
I'm going to change my life. I want to do this. It was like a calling. Um, and that was the beginning of me becoming a practitioner. I started with massage and reflexology and then I did in acupuncture. And then eventually having, I had a successful clinic for many years and it was about, I don't know, like sort of seven years ago, I sat in clinic here and just thinking, do you know what, this information is so amazing. There's got to be a better way of getting this kind of quality of information to a broader reach of people. This is crazy, me just doing it one hour at a time. Um, and that was really the beginning of me setting up Hey You, as a business that we all know. Which was so how long ago was that? Well, I came up with the idea about seven years ago, and then we launched the brand two, year, two and a half years ago, September two years ago. Um, but it was a long time working it out because the thing is, I kind of knew in my heart that there was something there, but it didn't exist as a thing. I had to kind of conjure it out of knowing there was something, but I was kind of blindfolded in a dark room. So I was kind of finding things. And just when I thought I'd got to the bottom of it, there was like another layer to go. And it, it took about five years to work it all out. And then- and these Jade, I mean, not necessarily these, cause you've obviously developed these, but jade tools for women's natural beauty was something that was quite traditional in China before. Yeah, I mean, these things go back thousands of years. I mean, they're new to us, but they're not new to them at all. Gua Sha is normal in Asian cultures. People do this all the time. When I discovered this when I was in China, you know, the woman who was showing it to me just couldn't believe we didn't know about it. She was just absolutely flabbergasted. And she said, well, how on earth do you look after your skin? And um, I didn't really have an answer other than expensive skincare, which, um, I've now learned along the way that you just simply don't need all these things. You need, you need, hey you, hey you means you. You do it for yourself. The magic ingredient of the brand is you. It's you. And you just need to know what to do because bodies are designed to be well and beautiful and to be healthy. That's what bodies are designed. They're designed to live. Life is designed to live. So all you need to do is tap into the kind of the resources that you have. And then having distilled it all down, of course I realized that this is indeed circulation. The free flow. Uh, so by doing this, you're actually, what, releasing the blood and... Um, the yeah, when you do the squash, so let me just show you actually, because I've, yeah. I've got like a, So um, I always recommend when you use these crystals that you either do them with water in the shower, uh, or with, I've got an oil here, but to be honest, I always say to people, you know, just don't start buying new stuff. Just use what you've got, that's fine. You know, we don't need to chuck out everything in our bathrooms and start again, that's just simply not necessary. So you just use the rounded edge. And then you're just press stroking it. And what you'll notice is this red flush. And mm. that's what you get. Gua means press stroke and sha means flush. And it's engaging with the microcirculation that just sits under the skin, which is what's bringing oxygen and nutrients into the skin and relaxing the muscles. And you get this lovely radiant glow, which is what's sort of sent the beauty industry to a complete sort of spinny. But that's just after one minute. What you'll notice after continued use sort of for a minute every day is that your skin just starts to become increasingly elastic increasingly radiant just looks better is it the collagen that's being released yeah the collagen and elastin is what thing because you're bringing the circulation up to it you're yeah. bringing collagen and elastin up into the surface of the skin and yeah. that's how it works so it's nothing that special and can, and can you actually if i'm really put a little bit more attention into it it's like one, of, one of your kids <laughs> i know sorry <laughs> <laughs> they're allowed um is um Actually, can you get the gels up a bit as well? I presume yeah. you can. I actually... you know, this, is, this is your thing, isn't it? Yeah. So when we do the gels, we use, well, I like to do like this, like that. And then you want to then take the crystal down the throat like this. But then also the reason why gels are, that's kidney deficiency in Chinese medicine. So this is where the brand comes in because when I do the live feeds, um, I'm constantly linked. See, beauty is the exterior manifestation of interior health, okay? So yeah. if there's a beauty problem, it's because one of the organs is imbalanced on the inside. Um, and in the case of gels, it's the kidney. So we have all these fact sheets, which of course you've got total access to. So when you're talking to customers and ladies and, and people within your groups, you just look, if it's eye bags and gels, that's kidneys. So you need to strengthen the kidneys. If it's thin lines around the lips, that's the spleen. So isn't, some of it must be to do with age as well. I mean, at my age, which is 72, I mean, there's, it's bound to be sort of a general droop down, I would have thought. Because the organs are weakening. Oh. That's why. Keep, that's why Qigong is such an integral part of my method. Because yeah. Because if you keep the organs strong, not at all, you're going you're, you're gonna to keep your body str strong and healthy. Do you, and you want to explain a bit about Qigong for those who don't know? Yeah. I mean, Qigong is... 
just amazing and I just struggle why it's not really here. And um, basically I do a Qigong class every morning at 8 a.m. and 9 at the weekends, which I just started doing it in lockdown. I mean, I do this, this is what I do every morning. Qigong basically means um, energy practice. And all it means is that for the body to be healthy, there's two types of energy that you need to have energy, to feel alive and well and with energy. You know, uh, one is by food and one is by breath. And we all know about food, but we don't really think about breath. And Qigong is basically breath, breath work. Um, and so for about half an hour every morning, I do it up on Instagram and it's 10, I call them the magnificent. I will send details down to everybody and I thoroughly recommend it. And when I get up in time to do it, it is brilliant. And not only does Katie do a very lovely flowing Qigong that really wakes the body up and a lot of tapping, which she's going to explain about in a minute, but she also does something called laughing Qigong where she gets, she starts rolling around laughing at the same time of doing the tapping and you can't help but join in and you feel so good afterwards because nothing like eight o'clock in the morning, waking up, getting out of bed and laughing away with Katie Brindle. That would be my absolute recommendation to anybody really, and, and start your day off properly. There is a, a very famous grandmaster Chinese um, philosopher called Man Tak Chiu, who's very famous. Oh, I know about Man Tak Chiu. Yeah, 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 of course. So, um, and he says that laughter Qigong is the best breath work bar none. So never mind all this fancy stuff that people talk about, laughing. It's laughing. so good for you. And if you come on the feed, I know Lynn, because you've been there. It's yeah, so laughing. funny when you do it, when you start, I mean, you have basically, I start laughing and then you're going to laugh at me and then it keeps going and it works. And you feel so energized afterwards. You really, really, really do. I mean, on a really good morning, which is Fridays usually, I start off with you and I'm laughing and I feel great. Then I go on to do um, a movement class with Sarah Davis, which we're doing tomorrow, Sacred Dance, and that's brilliant. And then I actually go out for a walk with the dog. So kind of, by the time it gets to about 11 o'clock, because this has been the last few weeks, I am yeah. like so buzzy. That's why you look so good. Ideas. Yeah. I mean, these things really, really work. And I think what's amazing about lockdown is that we've actually got an opportunity to actually try this stuff. Yeah. Um, and it really works. And the, the best thing is, is that all this stuff's free. I mean, I just, I mean, I put it up there purely because I do it anyway. So I just thought, oh, well, I'll just put some mascara on to make myself look presentable. And I'll just, I'll just stream it and see what happens. And it's growing. I mean, we've got over 300 people now on the class. It's ridiculous. I've right. never thousands of people following you generally on Instagram and YouTube. I mean, it's just built. I just don't know how you've got time to do anything else because you are just every time I turn on my computer, there you are online. No, no. I'm like a reality TV show. <laughs> Much. Uh, you, well, that's what we're going to do. We're all a that's an extraordinary thing. We are all now a reality TV show. Forget exactly. about celebrities and sitting watching them. I mean, that's boring. Watching, as I said today, watching Madonna in a bath with a few rose, rose, rose petals is just not interesting. We're not interested in the Kardashians. We are now the, the, the we are the we are a reality TV, and everybody exactly. can sit there on Facebook Live or Instagram and make their film and talk their talk. And it's wonderful. Exactly. We're never going to want to go anywhere ever again, honestly. I'm so happy. It's just <laughs> streaming away. No, well, it's going to be very interesting. I mean, what we've been talking about, what I've been talking about a lot in my talks and my Facebook Lives that I do every night, and also working with the group this weekend, is how we know things are never going to go back, thank heavens, to the way they were. That we are going to be working a different way. We're going to be living a different way. We're going to be having a different kind of economy. The way women work together, and especially in community from the grassroots, supporting each other, is going to be the way the future can absolutely evolve into a sustainable future. So um, what's your views on what? Which you've been saying for 20 well, years. I, yeah, I've been saying for 20 years. I can't believe myself. I was reading stuff poor trap people on my group so because I could they were muted and I wasn't so I read them out of my book from 15 years ago and it was everything I've been saying you know it's about bringing community together tribe together cooperation between women with the way we work together I mean I love it but it's like what's your view I mean how do you see things going forward because we were talking today about are we going to rush back onto airplanes are we going to rush back onto our cars going up and down the motorway you know do, do you have any feelings about how you want to I guess we can make the world anything we want that's the beauty of it right now we can create the future well we can but um i think we're in we're now going to be in a transition period because um the thing is you've got you've got the old way and the new way um and i think a lot of this is about female power coming through and i think female as you say we work in a collaborative way and we will now be in a position to redefine things i mean i personally think you would be foolish to rush back into away from self-isolation in a hurry and i think if we do come out of it too quickly there will be another wave 
and then they'll have to do it all over again. And ultimately, commerce will always come through. So you just have to look at the financial markets and things, right, well, we know that the old institutions are no longer viable. That method of working is not sustainable and doesn't work. And people don't even like it who are in the system themselves, but they still have to earn money. So there will be a lot of people rushing back to the old system because they're afraid and they don't have anything different to do. But ultimately, there's going to be an awful lot of people now that realize that actually you can make money online. There's, there's, women do support each other. There are absolutely, there are limitless ways um, to support. And there's going to be vast tranches of the society who are not going back to work like older people. And older people, a lot of older people have money. A lot of them do. And they're completely overlooked by marketing because it's kind of deemed as not sexy or whatever. And yet you think, well, actually, there's a massive market of people from sort of, you know, 60 years up plus who are in um, restricted groups now because they need to look after themselves. And they, they're not going to be stupid enough to put themselves back into the firing line when you've got this unknown entity out there that could resurface at any moment if we rush back too soon, which is what I think is good. I think we are going to rush back too soon. I think they've opened stuff up. Already. I think we'll have the choice. Because we when we were talking about the narrative as in the Steve community, <clears throat> we've been talking about the fact that um, we could say we're in lockdown and we're not allowed to do it. Or we could also say, well, we've got this incredible opportunity of freedom. Instead mm -hmm. of seeing ourselves locked down, whether we're in our homes or we're able to walk out in our towns and our villages, even in the cities, we've got this freedom now to do something in such a different way. And I was actually really interested to see Prince Charles quoted as saying, who I think is a really good guy, he said, um, you know, this is a time where we can all contribute to an ecological change. We can create a societal change. And he can't, he said, I can't do it on my own. I need all of you. I'd rather listen to him than I would the politicians, whatever party they are, because they're just all, a lot of uh, talking absolute nonsense. And when you, I've actually stopped watching the news. I've stopped, virtually stopped reading the newspapers, part of my horoscope, of course. But um, <laughs> just realising that it's just such a load of gumph. I mean, it's just, nonsense so let's not get caught up in all the drama and distraction that is created yeah. and let's just come to our hearts and that's very exciting i think and all the things that we thought would take years and years to make changes to like the environment like stopping the traffic like stopping the planes or having a lot less um have just happened in a week and, we're, and we've all been talking amongst ourselves i'm sure you have too if you live in a beautiful place surrounded by nature the bees are back, the butterflies are back, the birds are singing loudly, the trees are just vibrating with green and goodness and the flowers. And I'm sure your, your beautiful garden is looking fantastic. It's like there's been this shift and it's happened so quickly. And that's something we want to keep happening, in fact. I, I really believe it's a transition. And I think enlightened people, um, such as people that you orbit around, um, will see this as an opportunity for growth. And it indeed is. And it will just, it, it like the whole seed idea that you, you know, this is where you're so, in, so enlightened because you were light years ahead of everyone. It is a seed movement that's coming up. So you've got the big institutions and powerhouses which are here and will remain so until they crumble. I mean, you've seen it in the music industry, you've seen it in the magazine industry, you're now seeing it in the city. Businesses going bankrupt, insurance companies going bankrupt. They are, it's an unsustainable model. Um, it's a male model and it's no longer the case. And you and I've discussed this, this is not about, yeah sort of man bashing or female power. No. It's just it's a, a new paradigm. Just an energy shift of, it used to be like this, men here, women here, and now it's got, it's just, this has happened. And this is, the thing when you study Chinese medicine is that this is about the Tao. This is about energetic forces, which are way, way bigger than us. And, you know, the world is a stage and we are but the players. And I think the arrogance of largely the Western man to think that we are more powerful, and I can think of one specifically who, you know, who epitomizes that, that we are more powerful than the world around us and the forces of nature and the forces of the universe. What an arrogant thing to think. You know, we are nothing. We are so humble. We have so much power inside us and yet we're so relevant simultaneously. And that you have to sort of go down on your hands and knees and pray to recognize the fact that there is greater forces out there that we need to yield to. And certainly when I do chart reading, which is obviously what I act, that's technically what I actually do, believe it or not, you know, as I did with you, when we looked at the chart, you realize that the, you, you can't go against the Tao. The master has been very clear with me about that over and over. So for, you know, for example, I had a lady who wants to get pregnant. Okay, so in her chart, it's in two years time, but she's having IVF. So I say to the, I say to the master, okay, so ha ha what happens now then? And he just smiles and goes, it would be better if she waited for two years, he says, cryptically, i.e. meaning she's wasting her money. She should just wait, nurture her body, and do it when the Tao is ready for the child to come into the chart, because otherwise you're fighting, and it's, it's not working. Because, because China 
and a lot of Asian countries totally follow the, this whole astrology, feng shui, in buildings. But they, they are very careful how they select the dates that they do deals or the, they go very much in the kind of flow of nature. Mm. I mean, the old Chinese way of doing things, not the new Chinese way of doing things, obviously. Mm. But the, 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 and it's, I mean, even in Bali, uh, I, I, they get, I've met um, some of the local people and they get given these newspapers every year and it literally says what day to have their hair cut, what day to go to the dentist. The almanacs, yeah, absolutely. Oh yeah, I mean, I do a lot of things. I mean, there's a lot, I mean, because of my chart reading sort of aspect of what I do, I talk to the master a lot because I'm, every time I have a patient, I will always go through the chart with the master. The master being your teacher. Yes, yeah, sorry, the Chinese master. Yeah, he's, he's the Bazi master who I, and the Feng Shui and the Yi Ching and everything. And um, there's always something to learn. So whenever I have a chart, I will always spend time going through it with him because there's always something that I've not seen and you need to give people the best you can. And, um, you know, it, he, I, I talk to him about absolutely everything. I don't do anything unless I've run it through him first, ever, literally, never. And, and so also business in, decisions as well, fat personal decisions you run past him. Everything, uh, everything. Yeah, all, anyone I bring into the business, I do their charts before they come in, see how they work, see what's the best way for them to work, all of that. It's a very clever way. That's how, that's how the Imperial Palace used to run. And by the way, that's how it was in Europe too. You know, all the great kings like Nostradamus, they had soothsayers, all of them, who would be li literally working with nature and divining the power because it was all about power and it was an ad advantage. And I do it with my husband because obviously he's got a city company. And I mean, it's hugely powerful for him. I sit there in the background, you know, weaving my stuff. Mm -hmm. It works. Don't and don't you think on a on a, an, on, on a day to day level that women's intuition, that sort of classic, um, almost scoffed at by men, but women's intuition which we have brought into our businesses, we have brought into all aspects of our lives, is incredibly powerful and hasn't traditionally been taken seriously in the world of business. And it hasn't, serious, hasn't been taken seriously in this old paradigm whatsoever. And you can just see this shift going on of certainly the women I know and work with, that we do so much from the heart, we do so much from our intuition, uh, maybe sometimes too much because we go in the flow and then we forget to do the, uh, the other side of analysis on the figures. But if we can keep the thing in balance, harmonious balance, which is the two words I've been using for the last two days, in every level, we will get where we want to go once we've decided where that is. I mean, that's the important thing. And I was, what, I was watching um, somebody, an ascended master who was channeling the other day on a site. Anyway, he said, um, we've, we've got this time as a gift. And this was direct from God to one of the angels to my screen out to me. So he said, do nothing. People shouldn't do anything till August. <laughs> They should just be and see what comes in. Well, of course, that's easy to say from an angel. I, I certainly am not sitting waiting to look. I was going to say, I'm not sitting. Well, I'm sitting, but I'm not waiting. No, not waiting. But at the same allowing, time... Allowing. Allowing. I think that might be maybe a better way of saying it. Allowing. Yeah. But it, has, it is a time which is a gift where we can allow these new ideas to come in and this flow. I, I was mentioning to you before QVC, for example, or a very business structure where you do a huge amount of business with QVC. Is that all going and people sitting in front of their TV screens just ordering as usual? TVC is, um, yeah, I mean, my, my business luckily is, is, is benefiting from the situation. Um, it's, it's home health, home beauty, self-care, um, affordable products that are very heavily promoted online by me delivering what you do as an expert. So it's kind of, we're ticking all the different boxes. Um, and QVC people are sat at home, you know, watching and it's working really well. I mean, they're clearly just using old footage. Um, because I, I, I isolated myself two weeks before the government shut things down because I could see what was coming. And I thought the worst time to be out would be then because the sensible governments would have been shutting everything two weeks ahead of when they did, not letting people wander around, kind of not taking it seriously. Race track, which apparently yeah, I mean, race, You know, yeah. and people are dying. It's not to be messed with. I mean, look at Boris Johnson himself. I mean, gosh, goodness me. So, um, I was isolated two weeks before, but I had to go in and do a QVC day where I had to go and do about eight different videos, kind of one after the other. But, you know, I literally was like this, <laughs> didn't touch a thing. Um, and, you know, you couldn't touch the models, the models couldn't pick anything up. You couldn't go, you know, the presenters and I were quite far away from each other. So we already had it sort of ready to go. And then literally I was like sanitizing my hands every 10 seconds, going near no one. They went straight in my car and drove home and that was the end of that. I haven't left my house since. <laughs> And I'm loving it. Yeah. Oh, it's so relaxing. So yeah. relaxing.
relaxing, no rushing around. It's so relaxing. I, I never want to go back to that because I came out of London. I'd had two days in London. I was doing an event there and I was having lots of meetings and I got in my car and as I'm driving out of London, I heard the Boris Johnson on LBC with the first of the press conferences and I thought, as I sat in the traffic to just get out of London, this is the last time I want to be doing this for a very long time. Yeah, I don't exactly think it will be. I mean, you've always been traveling a lot. Do you see your, and you go to, obviously you go to Asia a lot, you go to China a lot. Do you see there's going to be ways of not doing that so much, if at all, and you can work yeah. in a different way? I, honestly, I don't, I don't want to change this pattern at all. I'm so happy. Um, I've had to work so extraordinarily hard to, to get to, to the position that I'm in to be sitting talking to you. Um, and, um, and I've built a family at the same time. And there's a, that's a lot of energy depletion on a woman. That's a lot of yin depletion, and um, it was having its effect on my health. I was very tired, um, and I'm feeling very well. I've lost weight. I feel balanced. Sort of, I don't know. I'm just. Are you spending quality time with your kids because they're obviously at home? Uh, well? Not much because um, I'm working all the time, but I'm here. And you know what? <laughs> the thing that I've discovered with children is that as long as they, they, you know, it's quite a sexist. Well, they're not little kids. They, they are early teens, and well, well actually, ten. The, the, the twins are ten, but. The thing is, they just seem to like me being here. They don't seem to mind that I'm, I'm doing my stuff, but they know mummy's like, mummy's here and we eat together and play rummy cup every night. And it's all just gone terribly traditional. You know, we just sort of play games and hang out and go for a walk because there's no FOMO. You're not sitting there rushing around thinking, oh, they've got to go to a party or they need to go on a play date and I need to chat to the mum. I'm like, oh, I have to do any of that, you know. But are just, they home schooling? Are they bothering to work or are they just playing? Yeah, no, they're working really well. No, they're very good. They've got quite a strict father though, so, you know. They don't yeah. get away with it. They're yeah. all having a sleepover tonight and we've got this little sort of space next door and they're all in there thinking it's really great. God knows what they're doing. <laughs> <laughs> Find out in a minute. But they're letting me doing this, so that's okay. Yeah, well, I'm very grateful. So um, I, th I see that Tanzan has posted up here about the fact that we have on, you know, one of the things that we've done, which I mentioned earlier to you, was that we've launched our online seed store, which we're really thrilled about. We've been wanting to do it for months and months and months and months. We've got big ideas about taking designs out further down the line and working with rural women in the Middle East and, and, and very poor countries and communities and refugees and bringing them together with designers in the UK and who know Western taste and starting to create, as we, we have been selling anyway, but to create small craft products, which uh, we will sell online. But meanwhile, our store's looking beautiful. Oh yes, so, uh, all yeah. our, like, so we have a huge section of Heyu products. We love Heyu. Apart from the fact that we are friends, it's nothing to do with that. We, we sell them very well. We love them dearly. And we have put our, our um, link up there. So if anybody wants to order any Heyu, of course, Katie has her own website, clearly. But we have everything and we've ordered the tuppers and, oh, it looks lo lovely. Thank you. Oh, really? Because Katie, this is how Katie is one of our customers. This is how Katie shops, or used to in the old days. She would be coming in on a phone and looking around on the phone I and did. saying what she wants. All your little crystal angels. I bought all of those. You bought lots of it, but you did it all. You did it all virtually, and you came. Yeah, look at this. The other Katie's. Amazing. And then you said, and then we got the things to you. And there's your book right in the middle. And oh, which, by the way, is sold out everywhere. Yeah. So, literally. We've got, we've got our order in. And, wow. um, yeah, we've got some more things we need to get in because they have sold out. But anyway, it's a fantastic yeah. book. And you can see it all there. And it's won lots of awards, hasn't it, Katie? Or, we've won more awards than any other beauty product in the length of time we've been launched, which is just amazing. Well, That's well deserved. It's so great. it works. That's the thing, because it, the thing that I love about the brand is it's the truth. There's nothing more to it. Buy one crystal, you don't need all this other stuff. It lasts forever and you get great skin. You do. And I love the fact that kind of, I, I, I say, I, you know, I'm not a genetic goddess. I'm all right, you know, I'm all right, but I'm not, you know, someone who's born to, no matter what I do, it's great. You know, my skin was not great. I was lined and wrinkled and sagging and all the rest of it. And then, you know, and I was a little bit overweight, all these, my hair was thinning and stuff. And then I, I practice what I preach and I genuinely do it. And, now I just stream what I actually do is what I literally do. I stream the Qigong in the morning, I stream the meditation at lunchtime and go for a walk in the afternoon, which I don't stream that. You walk your cool. talk and it shows and it shows and you're more relaxed. We've got a yeah. question that's come in from Alex who says, does it matter what the crystal is made from? So do you want to talk a little bit about the products themselves? Because they're, 
This yeah. is jade, but there are several different kinds, aren't there? Is it just the... well, there are, but in our range, we've got the jade and the rose quartz. And the reason why there are different crystals, but um, the first thing to know is that when you're dealing with crystals, um, obviously they carry energy and that energy resonates with the body. We know that. But jade resonates with, in, with the yin-yang axis. And the yin-yang axis is like the kind of the duo binary coding of the body, which is the whole kind of, you know, the, the, the yin-yang symbol. And it means that jade actually traditionally was valued more preciously than gold in Asian cultures um, because you can use it at any time of day. So it's the go-to tool morning or evening. Um, it holds the coolness temperature extremely well. But once it starts to warm up, let's say you, you're holding it here, let's say you've got troubled skin, rosacea, acne, something like that. As it warms up, it starts to emit far infrared rays, which actually heal the skin. So it's very much a healing stone and it can be used at all the time. When you then go to say rose quartz, which I know people love, it's terribly popular, it's extremely pretty. But the thing with rose quartz is that it engages with the heart, you know. But the bit that we don't know is that the heart energy in the morning is going outwards because the circulation is going to the exterior to, to move around. That's because we're moving. So that makes the rose quartz perfect for the morning. But at night time, when the energy is moving inwards, you don't want to be drawing it with the rose quartz because you want it to go inwards. And so the rose quartz is not a very good idea at night, which means whilst this is a perfect tool for the morning, it's not good for nighttime. I didn't know that. You can only use it half the time. So whenever, you know, and the thing about these is they're a bit like makeup brushes. You know, you start with one, you get the hang of it. You go, oh my God, this is amazing. I can't believe my skin. Then you add an extra. So this becomes night, this becomes morning. And then of course you've got the precision we were looking at earlier, which is like the fine tuner for the eyes, the lips, fine lines and wrinkles, just kind of like, like there when I've got that line there, I do this every night and this really fine tunes it out. And that's why we use these particular crystals. They, they work particularly effectively as a set. And have you got the comb there as well with you? Oh, do you know what? I left that upstairs because um, I'm- we can talk, There's a jade comb that you just use through your skull which feels fantastic. And I know you can use it in other places like oh, that. Brilliant. brilliant. I mean, I use the comb. The reason it's not down here is because it's in my shower, which I religiously like comb my body. It is so good for you. It's so good for wobbly bits, cellulite, heavy legs. I mean, it's, it's the best. I mean, it's one more. I love it. I absolutely yeah. love it. And it's been award nominated for Top Sante's Best Anti-Cellulite Tool 2020. Wow. That's amazing. Brilliant. And what about the metal version? Yeah, that I've got. Um, so the metal version is the body restorer and this is for gua sha for the body and this now is really coming to its own at the moment in time because gua sha whilst i've explained it for beauty is much softer because you're using you know a thick crystal so that you've got a nice thick soft crystal whereas with the body restorer it's a slimmer rounded edge and it's a harder implement because it's made of stainless steel but when you gua sha the body you're basically encouraging five profound healing changes within the body you clear fever, you clear cough, you, you clear inflammation, you strengthen the immune system, and you clear pain. I mean, in terms of COVID... I was just going to say, I mean, why are all these people on ventilators? Well, it should be vitamin C and, and your wonderful instrument there. Well, this is the thing is, it's prevention, not cure. So I'm basically what I'm teaching everyone to do at the moment is to use your body restorer, go on the chest, go on the upper back, and work on this on each other and on yourselves as a daily basis. It's fantastic. It's really good for arthritis on your fingers, RSI on your joints, tennis elbow. I mean, it's, this is the tool. I mean, the thing is, everyone goes in on this because they're like, oh, I want to look pretty. But, you know, this is the, is, is the body tool. This is the health. And because I've come at this as a health practitioner, you know, I was saying to my business partner this morning, I said, I very nearly didn't launch the Beauty Restorer. Very nearly didn't launch it. And he's going, oh my God, are you completely mad? I was going, well, I'm not a facialist, I'm a doctor. So why, why would I sit there sort of talking to women about lines and wrinkles when I want to talk to them about pain and immunity and inflammation? But like you, the world wasn't really ready to listen. I've been saying it for seven years, but everyone was like, what? Ready to listen what? now. Yeah, now they're listening. So um, there's a quick question here from Nikki. Can the oil be used on your face and body? Because of it, uh, uh, just a quick answer to Jose. Yes, we do, or we do deliver to a Luxembourg. Absolutely. Um, and um, Nikki wants to know, can the oil, so you have a number of different oils because some needs to be thicker than others, doesn't it? Do you want yeah, to? Yeah, we have um, the beauty oil, which is this one here, which is perfect for the face, obviously. It's a beauty oil. And then we have a bigger bottle, um, which is for the body. So it's got, it's all of the same ingredients, but it's a slightly 
um, less sophisticated carrier oil, which is why it's cheaper, basically, because the beauty oil, when you're using it on your skin, you want to have um, a really high quality oil because it's beauty related, but the body oil, we could compromise a bit, so you get a lot more. But I personally absolutely love this on my skin so much. It's absolutely gorgeous. And the thing is, is that with most beauty oils, that they've been designed to be easily absorbed by the skin. But when you're doing gua sha, you don't want it too easily absorbed. You want to have a slip because the idea is that you're using the oil to accompany the crystal. And so the oil has been designed specifically to work with this technique. That's why, and it, the, 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 the um, oil has also won awards. That's what's so lovely about it. All, every single product has won awards now. Every That's so well deserved. I mean, it is amazing to think in two years how it's done so brilliantly, how you've done so brilliantly and the energy you put into it because you believe in what you're doing. I mean- Because it's the truth. Okay. Yeah. It, it, I won't lie. I won't lie. I won't yeah. lie. Because why would I? Like you, you just need, don't need to. You don't need it. You don't need anything else. You simply what you do need is me infusing into your purchase on a live feed, putting effort in and going. Can I help you? Can I help you? Do you want me to? Shall I show you? Do you want to answer a question? Can I? Can I show you? And using my time to show you, which is I think what's getting the real excitement behind the brand because you can really feel that that energy. So um, I didn't quite understand Alex's question here. If I keep looking there, it's because I'm reading the chat. What are we doing from a, to, I don't understand, a TCM. I didn't understand that, Alex, actually, uh, what the question was. So perhaps you just put it down again. I can understand it a bit better. And um, somebody wanted to have the, uh, uh, so Chanton's saying there are actually aromatherapy oils in the oil. Do you use natural oils? Absolutely. Frankincense, lotus, camellia flower, Lang Lang, it's a really lovely combination. And the, the packaging's all biodegradable. I mean, you're a responsible entrepreneur, so. The packaging is, um, and the idea about this is that um, you don't need batteries, there's no plastic. It comes in a little pouch, the pouch keeps it safe. Um, there is a, at the moment it's coming in a cardboard box, which is recyclable, but we're changing that. So that it's, what we're gonna do is rethink the whole thing and use recycled plastic as a as a as a thing, so okay. like, and make the make the pouches plastic because if plastic's actually been recycled, then it becomes useful again. So yeah. you know, so you know how you get those like bead bracelets from sea plastic. Yeah, we, we want to use that, and that you can now get this. It's now you know, and I would much rather do that than than use cotton, which is then going to be which has got to be made. You, you'd be better off using something that's already there. Yeah. Um, there's this brand, you know, we one of our massive credentials because I'm a really, I'm actually like actually bang on about it all the time is our is our environmental credentials, and that's one of the reasons our jade is such good quality because it took me two years to find a supplier I was happy to work with. Yeah, because there has been we've talked about this before. There has been controversy generally about jade coming out of mines where people are exploited. And you are making sure everything you sell, all the jade and everything is coming from ethical mines where Absolutely. workers are treated well and, and, and all the and rest. And we're working with the women, funnily enough, in China. Oh, yes. is a female. Yeah, interestingly, she was the only woman I met, but there she was. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. So I still find this confusing. PV, PQ, oh, PQC tomorrow. I don't, I don't understand what the question is. I did see one question, which is what about the Anstone, which I can answer whilst you're looking. Okay, at. yes, please. Um, because the Anstone is the most amazing healing crystal, it really is, and it's one that we will be bringing out. But, but we were, we had a whole load of products that we were going to be bringing out this year, and a whole load of things have just been pushed down later on down the line. But the Anstone, without question, is going to be one of them. But the thing is, people just simply weren't ready for the body message. They just weren't ready for it, even though I was telling them that, that you know, we only need to look at our sales figures to see, you know, for every 10 of these, we sell one body restorer, you know. Because people people enter into the market into the place with, from a beauty angle, and you don't really use the Anstone from a beauty point of view. You can, but it's not as attractive. When you're new to the whole thing, a jade crystal or a rose quartz crystal is, is more appealing than a dark black one. So I just Alex has redone her questions. I can understand it better. So what can we all be doing from a traditional Chinese medicine point of view to increase positive chi on a macro scale because of the societal trauma of Corona and on a personal level? She, Alex has been having, she's had uh, pneumonia. She hasn't been tested whether it's grown or not. For the last four weeks, she's had very severe pneumonia, which she's just coming out of now and is on our retreat, I'm glad to say, as a personal friend. Um, anyway, she's saying, is there something we could do from a traditional Chinese medicine point of view to increase positive qi on a macro scale? And yeah. what could she do on a personal level to help restore herself after pneumonia? 
Well, this is why I really love the morning Qigong that we do together, because just like your seed concept, it's about one person connecting to another, connecting to another, connecting to another. So it's grassroots. It's grassroots. And this is where social media is so brilliant, because thanks to things like Instagram and Facebook and Zoom, we can start connecting together. And therefore, what you do is you need to harmonize the collective. And that's actually the reason why I started the morning Qigong, if I'm really honest, because I thought, I'll just start myself and I'll just draw people in one by one by one by one. And each morning, the exercises are basically the same, but um, the what comes out my head to draw everyone together is always new. But like it's that day's thing, isn't it? Whatever that happens to be, and it's growing. And what you're doing is you're healing the individual, and then you're creating a collective energy simultaneously of of, of the ripple effect. Um, and specifically within that um, class, we do the healing sounds, and we do the laughter. And actually, when I've talked to the Grand Masters about this, that when you're dealing with your individual health, the most important thing you can do is the healing sounds. They are like the, they're like um, uh, uh, probiotics of, of energy work. There's, you can do whatever you like. If, you're not do, if you haven't got those healing sounds in place, then you're, you're not getting your ABC in place. So the healing sounds really work. And then you'll find that when you've got suddenly from one person to three to 300 to 3,000, this energy vibration the vibration of those sounds is starting to work. So what will work for pneumonia is you need to strengthen your lungs back up. You've got to get the vibrations. You tap, you vibrate, you tap with your fingertips, you, you tap with the tapper, and you, you, you join forces. And you, you create a community, which, which Lynn is what you have been saying for, for, you know, for 20 years. And when I first met you, and you just literally blew me away with your, with your prophecy and your insight and your light years ahead of, of everybody, like, and I was the only other person I knew that was saying it, you know, and there you were, you know, banging your drum. And I'm like, well, that's what we have to do. Well, that's wonderful. Well, that is what's so wonderful about connecting with other conscious light workers, because they're all included here on this call as well, because together we can make this. In fact, what Alice's question is, how do we change the chi on a macro scale? It's because we are raising our personal vibrations. We are collectively coming together through networks, through, through classes online, whatever it may be. And by bringing all our personal chi collectively work, it's somehow together in different ways, that is raising the vibration of the planet. And that's yes. what we have to do right now. And, and supporting females in business. Because you yourself, Lynn, said that the Dalai Lama said the, worst, the world will be saved by the Western women. And here we are with our education and our power and our collective force. And if we support each other and allow our small businesses to grow and flourish, we give back. Yeah, I was saying today, I'm not, I wish I could think of a word that wasn't business because there's gonna be this new way of transactions and commerce Enterprise. and economy. Todd? Enterprise. Well, I've always used, I mean, seed is sustainable enterprise and empowerment dynamics. So I've always used that, but I just think that so many of these words have been taken over uh, by the dark side and I just haven't got it yet but I guess it's business I mean the thing about all the women entrepreneurs I know you included is that we want to make a difference to our business we want the business to be successful we, 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 we're selling products we really believe in but at the same time we want to help others through our businesses that's what Seed's all about that's what all the women I know are all about it's not like I want to make millions just because I want the biggest office and I want the highest building and the biggest car I want to make um, a difference in the world and my business is part of the way I'm doing that. That's part mm. of my life purpose is my thought of doing it. So I'll, I'll go back to the questions because I know you've been at it a long time today. And I just want to say again, if you just go to Instagram in the morning, Katie Brindle, I am going to be sending the information out at eight o'clock. She's no, there. Sorry. Weekends. Nine. Oh, Every sorry. Weekends, I get an extra hour in bed. Nine. I know, lucky nine. me. Nine. Nine and one thirty. The next hour in bed. What are you doing with yourself? Oh God, I won't know what to do with myself. Honestly, we're like, oh, have sleep. <laughs> well, hopefully. <laughs> so uh, we're we'll all be getting lucky anytime soon. That's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> so far as asking about, can jade be found in other areas other than China, such as Swiss Alps and New Zealand? Because we know New Zealand's got got uh, jade. Have you looked at other places, other resources? Yeah, India. Um, there are um, Afghanistan. There are other suppliers, but. You know, I am a Chinese medicine brand, so for me, I'd quite like to support, you know, it's, she's a female in China and she's, got a, she, she's on the same page as us, so I like working with her. Um, but, you know, we, we look all over the world, I mean, like, because obviously we've got the bamboo tapper as well, and, you know, the bamboo comes from lots of different countries as well. Um, but the, the key to us is about the quality of the sourcing and 
what goes into it and, you know, child labor, slave labor. I mean, there's all this stuff that can go on if you're not careful. So we were very connected to it. So talk about the tapper. So mm. we've been talking about it generally, but what does it actually do for you? Oh, I think it's so good for you. I mean, if there's one thing that you're going to get in, 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 the, in the COVID time is get the, get the tapper because tapping is so good for you. The Taoist masters would tap for 20 minutes before and after Kung Fu fights. I mean, basically tapping um, is incredibly good for the immune system. Immune system, immune cells have to be optimized at the moment. And the way to optimize them is to enable them to, sm to flow smoothly through the body. And the minute you've been sat down for too long or you're stressed or emotional or not eating properly or just basically stuck at home and you can't get out, everything starts to stagnate and then the immune cells can't work. So by tapping the body, you're allowing, you're allowing the blood flow. It's invigorating, it's energizing. When you tap the long bones, you're invigorating stem cell production, which is, keeps you youthful. Stem cell production has also got a massive relationship to do with uh, lymphocytes and the immune system, tapping the thymus, tapping the spleen. This is all aspects of strengthening the immune system. Plus it's brilliant for joints, for cellulite, for keeping you slim, energized for hair loss, headaches. I mean, literally I bash my head with this every day. I thought, oh, so good. So good. So, so energizing. And it's really good to help you sleep. If you tap in an invigorated way in the morning, it wakes you up. But if you slow it down and soften it at night, it helps you sleep. I haven't used it at night, I must say. I'll have to say. Oh, it's really good. So basically, because the root cause of all health issues in Chinese medicine is an is a impairment to the circulation system. That's the bottom, the lowest common denominator of good health. And the tapper engages with that and enables the free flow of circulation around the body. And it's lightweight as well, because it's... You know, it's made of bamboo. Bamboo is very strong and very light, which means you can use it if you're very, very strong and fit or if you're elderly and delicate. So, you know, you can go gently. And it's light, so anyone can hold it. Um, Madeline has asked, which product is best for healing the body, especially lymph drainage, the metal one or the jade comb? Oh, use the jade comb, 100%. Yeah. And um, Madeline's also asked, how does the tapper work better than using your hands? Because I know you demonstrate with both, don't you? Yeah, well, when I do the Qigong, because, you know, this isn't Avon calling, you know, my job is to help people. And if they want to buy a product, great, but you don't have to, okay? What you need to do is engage with the content and understand and breathe and move and the free stuff in life and connect. So I'll always start with the fact that tapping can be done with a loosely clenched fist or with fingertips or with a cupped hand. And you can pretty much get the same effect, but you can't get the back because you can't, you know, you can get the whole of your back with that, so it is different. And also the vibration of the bamboo reeds is better, it is, but you can get a very good effect doing this. You really can, and therefore try this first. And even with the gua sha, I say to people, you know, you can use a Chinese soup spoon, you can use a jam jar lid, you know, these are things you can do, because if you just want to get the hang of it at home and go, oh, I'm not sure, let me have a look. Oh, look at that. You know, a, a porcelain soup spoon is not a crystal. They are not the same thing. That's like putting lanolin on your face as opposed to a really lovely skin cream. It's not the same, but it will give you the general gist of what it is that we're talking about and get you kind of inspired into this world of, wow, actually, it is actually about my body. Wow, I don't need all these products. I simply don't need them. I'll use up the ones I've got, but after that, I won't replenish them. And great, less plastic. One question from Alex, and, and we might um, we might come to a halt. That we've actually got over the time that I said that I was going to keep you here. But oh, really, Lynn? <laughs> which is what next for your ethical business? Says Alex. Well, um, at the moment we are doing a, a huge amount of live feeding and kind of growing, growing the business base. We've got some really gorgeous new products which were due out now, but we've had to kind of bump them along a little bit for production purposes. But um, we will hopefully, depending on COVID, we'll have new products coming out in September, ready for the Christmas market. And loads and loads and loads of live feeds. Hopefully masterclass in Yulin, retreats, one day. I really want us to do that. So Katie and I are talking about doing something in the form of masterclasses with different guests. So a little bit further on. Uh, that I'd really love to do that. Watch this. Working with Yulin, basically. That's all I ever want we to do. We just want to have some fun, actually, which we're going to yeah, do. Yeah, exactly. Because it's like we, neither of us have got anything else to do. <laughs> well, other than talking to you, which is sheer pleasure, that's your kind of point about the word business and work. It's like, I don't want to call it work. It's not work. It's so much. I love it. It's, it's, it's life. It's what I love to do. Exactly. And working with people like you is nothing but pure inspiration. Uh, well, we had a wonderful session this morning with Lucinda Drayton, who you haven't met. She's a friend of mine who is a brilliant singer. But she's also doing um, um, medicine woman healing work as well. 
And she talked about the importance of bringing play into our lives. And, you know, whatever we do is always keep the play there. So, um, That's right. That's why we do the laughter to on, because it makes you laugh. Yeah. It's the thing that everyone's engaging with. That's where the pictures are coming up all over Instagram. It's, have you seen this? This is so funny. Yeah. Like exactly. naughty school children giggling, you know, or down our, down our Instagram, don't, don't wake up my husband. So Alex says we need to reclaim enterprise. Yes, I think we yes, do. We'll we talk do. about this tomorrow. I think we're going to talk about the words. So if anybody has got a burning question, I think everybody's been absolutely, as always, when they're listening to you, Katie, totally absorbed by everything you've had to say. Um, we will send out the information, as I say, how you can hear Katie. She has all these, she's so efficient and brilliant. So she's got all these information sheets that you can download about anything you want to ask that she uh, can tell you anything about TCM and, and all sorts of information that I know that you're going to think of afterwards. So, Katie, shall we, shall we let you go to um, your next Mr. Brindle. Are you don't no, know Mr. Slides, Brindle right? wants to watch a box set with me this evening and he's feeling a bit neglected. So oh, I think I need to go and get my poor you're husband. Not doing, you're not doing any more streaming, are you? Oh, God. Right. Absolutely not. Can you hear my voice? I'm literally yeah, going hoarse. Yeah. And anyway, I, how can I possibly stream after talking to you, Liz? No. <laughs> true. So um, what, 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 are you gonna, what, what set are you going to watch? We're watching this really brilliant one called um, Babylon Berlin, which is amazing. It's a German one. It's fab. It's, oh, okay. Apparently it was the most expensive like, period drama ever made in Germany. It's recent, and it's all set in 1920s, and we're completely gripped. Oh, it's that fab. sounds fun. Yeah. Sounds and the leaves well, are quite hot, so I'm like, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I am so grateful. Thank you so much. You've been fantastic. Thank you. And That's thank you all so much. You're in amazing hands here. I can't think of a better way to spend the weekend than being with you. Oh, so, no.